hey, hey, it's Friday, Friday. Anyway, hey everybody, we are pumped up and excited today. Welcome to Healing 101. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. It's going to be a beautiful month. It's going to be a beautiful life. Y'all better get excited. Welcome to Healing 101. This is a platform where we come together to heal. This is where we come together to be transparent. This is where we come together to just live our best life. Our highest self knows that we deserve good things. Our highest self knows that we deserve the best. And so we learn in this lifetime, mom, to figure out a way to understand that we were not born to suffer to understand and just in my crown that we came for a purpose and for a destiny. And if you're like me, and I know you are, love tribe, you will not be satisfied until you figure it out. You will never ever settle for less than the best. It's something inside of us, Tiame, let me tell you, it's something inside of us that says there's more out there. So I'm excited that as a part of this process of healing one-on-one, we can figure out that there's more out there. Yes, and if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm not sure, please DM me the pronunciation because I don't want to keep saying it wrong. I welcome you guys. I love the Love Tribe. In case you guys don't know, I love each and every one of you because I realize that you are just like me. You are a traveler <laughs> on this journey called life. And I want you guys to know that what I finally figured out is that I love traveling. I've been to Italy. I've been to London. And sure, when I travel, it is so much fun, even in the United States. Just going to California or Atlanta, North Carolina, or or um, where did I just come from? Um, I forgot where I just came from. Anyway, just traveling anyway inside the United States is good as well. But I want you to know the best the best traveler to be is when you travel inward. Mom, this is the best trip I have ever taken in my life other than out of your womb. <laughs> this has been the best trip I have taken in my life, bar none, traveling inward. Because all my life, I doubted myself. I second guessed myself. I had low self esteem. I compared myself to others. I always felt like I didn't have the perfect house or the perfect car or the perfect man or, or the great bank account or the perfect business opportunity or the perfect job or the everything always had a problem. The relationships had a problem. The kids was always going through something. The family, uh, it's like everywhere you go, it was always a challenge. But can I tell you guys? This trip I'm on right now, man, I may never come back. Y'all be like, she don't check in and she gone. This trip I'm on right now, traveling inward, the best trip I've ever been on. I am discovering that I am one of my favorite people on this planet. I am discovering that I love being with myself. I have discovered that I have way more to offer than I have ever tapped into. And the most important thing I have discovered, mom, is that I spent way too much time. And if anybody agree with me, put one in the comments. I spent way too much time belittling myself, thinking negative about myself, short, short, shorting myself in a way and believing that I couldn't step up to the standard or whatever it was that I thought I needed to accomplish at the time. That's what happened to me. But can I tell you, the moment I decided that, you know, if I don't have five minutes, I don't have a life. You know, that's not original for me. I got that from Tony Robbins. And when I sat under a great leader, thanks, Cheryl, me too. When I sat under a great leader, when he said, if you don't have five minutes, you don't have a life, it changed my life because I sat still for five minutes. And then I realized I was afraid and I was full of fear. And I realized I can't just embody fear for the rest of my life. And when I sat still for five minutes, thanks, mom, me too. I realized when I sat still for five minutes, I realized I wasn't showing up the way I thought I wanted to. I saw myself as this courageous, bad to the bone, black African woman. You know, this educated, amazing woman. That's how I saw myself. That's not how 
I portrayed myself. I portrayed myself as a weak, low, shallow, sensitive, emotional, needy person. And the moment I got in touch with myself and I said, Monifa, how do you really want to show up? Let's do that. Let me tell you what many of us do as we talk about, in case you guys are joining us, we are talking about what mentally strong people don't do. And this week we are wrapping up dwelling in the past because that's something we just not going to do anymore. We're not going to dwell in the past. But mom, what I got to tell you is that as a clinician, I created... Um, this wonderful blueprint for therapists to work with teenagers and adolescents and in outpatient mental health clinics all over Baltimore City, Baltimore County and surrounding areas. They have adopted this um, clinical practice that I came up with. I'm proud to say I came up with 18 years ago. It's still being operated. You know, I should have copyrighted it, get excited, but it's still in operation today. And so what we did was we had teenagers, and this still applied to some adults, so listen closely. We had teenagers who were failing school. We had teenagers who were getting involved in gang activities, right? They were starting to sell drugs. They were missing school. They were not, they were not doing well academically, right? In addition to that, they decided to involve themselves in some transactions where they rob people and steal cell phones and resell them. They became insubordinate to authority, to police officers, to teachers, to faculty, staff, principals at the schools. They were fighting the staff. They were fighting the students. They were destroying property. And so they were so concerned about this group of adolescents who had gang-like activity and they could not control them. And so I tried this with one student and I shared it. It worked. And like I said, it's still in force today. And basically what we do is we ask the child or the student or the adolescent, um, what are your goals? Like, what do you want? What do you really want? And then what are your vision for your life? And the reason why we say, what do you want? Because the most thing, the first thing they're gonna say is, well, I wanna do good in school. They're saying that because their parents want that. But then when we say, well, what do you really want? Well, I really, when I grow up, I don't want to be a drug addict. I don't want to end up in jail. I really want to be an upstanding citizen. Oh, that's what you really want, right? What do you vision for your life? Well, one day I'm going to be a great father, a great husband. Hopefully I'm going to be, you know, upstanding man in the community. And so this is what I shared with them, Cheryl. So we have two paths in life, okay? We have to determine which one we're going to get on. So I would tell them, if you're on 95 North, if we're in Baltimore City Public Schools, if you get on 95 North from Baltimore, I'm not sure you guys are watching me around the country and get excited around the world. When you're in Baltimore, and to go to New York, you have to get on 95 North. If you're in Baltimore, Maryland, to go to Florida, you have to get on 95 South. So stay with me, stay with me, right? So what I would tell them is, what are your plans? Your plans are to be a husband, to be a, a hardworking father, to be an upstanding man in the community. However, you're stealing cell phones, you're fighting, you're bullying, you're having gangster activity, you're selling drugs. All of those lead to jail activities, right? So with that being said, I let them know, mom, you're on 95 South, but you're trying to get to New York. You're on 95 South, but you're trying to get to New York. You will never, you will never get to New York on 95 South. If you in Maryland and you get on 95 South, you can never, I'm talking about it will never happen. You will never get to New York. The furthest you will get is to the rivers and the oceans of Florida, the beautiful beaches of Florida. You can drop into the ocean, but you'll never make it to New York. So we explain to them the journey that you are on leads you away from where you want to go. So if you really want to go to New York, you're going to have to turn around and get on 95 North. But as long as you stay on 95 South, you will never get there. So I hope you guys are following me. We had the adolescents to list all of the things they are currently doing. And then we had the adolescents to list all of the things that they wanted for their future vision. And then we let them know you're on the wrong road. Your road ends up in jail. Your road ends up dead. Your road ends up as a drug addict. If you don't want the end of your road to be this, you got to get on 95 North. Mom, it works. Hundreds, hundreds have been documented 
of turning their life around just in our region alone and thousands outside of our region. It works. And I came up with it, right? So I want you guys to know, as we are talking about how mentally strong people don't dwell on the past, my question to you is, are you on 95 South? Are you in Maryland trying to get to New York, but you're on 95 South? Are you? Or you, you, you know, you know, if you're on 95 South, you'll never get to New York. So if you think you're going to live your life in the past and you think you're going to dwell on the past and you think you're going to keep looking backwards and you think you're going to keep focusing on all the things that was great, that is no longer great. If you think you're going to focus on all the things that is negative, that were negative, that is no longer negative, And you think that that road leads to a greater life. I would like to interrupt your delusional thinking today, no judgment zone, and to let you know you're never going to get there. Can I tell you that worry over your past is depression? Depression does not lead to joy or happiness. It doesn't. And in order for us to release ourselves from depression, worry over the past, we have to come to the present. So I hope I have impressed upon you what we taught teenagers to do to change their life around is to say, if your daily thought life consists of the past, if your daily actions and behaviors lend to your past life, well, I want to lose weight, but I'm going to eat processed foods every day. You're on 95 South, you'll never get there. Well, I don't want to have high blood pressure. I don't want to have cholesterol. I don't want to deal with diabetes. But I'm, I'm also not going to change the way I eat. You're on 95 South. You're never going to get there. Well, I'm really angry, you know? I have a lot of bitterness in my heart, you know? People have done me wrong. I have a lot of unforgiveness in my heart. But uh, you know what? That's just who I am. I'm just going to stay this way. I'm just going to stay guarded. Can I tell you, sister? You on 95 South, you ain't never going to get to where you're trying to go. So if you know, like I know, turn it around. If you know, like I know, you need to make a U-turn and you need to say, oh my Lord, I am following the wrong GPS, God's protective system, get excited. I am following the wrong GPS. I am going in the wrong direction. I want my children to be a certain way. So I have been trying to control them. And I tell them what I want them to educate themselves on. I tell them where I want them to live and how much money I want them to make and how I want them to rule their families. No, that's not your job. You're still dwelling on the past. You still think you can control things outside of your control. That's why you're depressed. Because you're in a lane that you don't even belong in. Guess what I finally figured out as a mother? I release the outcome. I want my sons to do whatever it is. And when I say, I say this with truth, with honesty, with freedom and liberation. Thank God it took me a long time to get to this place. But I want my sons to do whatever it is they think they should do. Even if it includes keeping me out of their lives. Get excited about that. It took me a long time to come to this place, but I want you to know that I rest in the freedom and the love and the joy of having no desire to control anyone or anything because that puts me into a depression. When I try to control my son and when I try to control how he interacts with me and his family and when I try to control that, I was in a depression for two years. I was out of it. I was blaming myself, self-doubt. I stopped helping others. I was in a super deep depression. But then when I released myself to the outcome and I said, hey, mama girl, you did what you had to do, baby girl. The left is left up to God. You better take your hands off and let God be God. Don't, if it no longer serves you, don't touch it. And I walk today in the freedom that I want them to do, to have, and to be whatever it is they want, even if it includes, doesn't include me. How many of you guys will say that you have the freedom in your heart, the liberation in your heart to say your relatives, your family members, your loved ones, 
that you have, you give them the same freedom you want somebody to give to you. You have the no judgment zone. Whatever it is you want, I want for you. That's it. If you like it, I love it. I, I don't have an opinion about how you live your life. I have an opinion about how I live mine, however. I have an opinion about protecting my peace, however. I know that happiness is an inside job. So I'm not going to dwell on the past that I wish, oh my God, I wish we were lovey-dovey. and I would, I'm not going to go there because that leaves me in a depression. So we don't do that. So how many of you guys would say that the reason why you dwell in the past, the reason why you are depressed is because you are trying to control situations outside of yourself. You are trying to figure out why people are not responding to you the way you think they should. You are trying to figure out where is the reciprocity? I have given and given and given and given and given. Where is the reciprocity? If I was you, I wouldn't even worry about that. I'm telling you right now. I wouldn't even worry about it. <laughs> I wouldn't even put a moment on it. You know why? Because I put two years on it. And guess where it got me? In the hospital. <laughs> Just sick as a dog. Disease when you're not at ease. When you're not at ease. Right? Your, your, your blood cells be like, we sick over here because you sick. The colon be like, that digestive system's like, look, I'm just not working no more. You don't want to get out of bed. You uptight about life. I am too. I can't even help you digest this food. The esophagus going to break down and some more stuff. <laughs> like, why would we do that to ourselves? So do you understand when we don't dwell in the past, we release ourselves to be joyous, to be happy, to be free, to be loving. We release ourselves. Don't we deserve that? Of course we do. Life is tough enough. Why would we make life harder for ourselves when we know for sure that life is tough enough? So again, as we talk about dwelling in the past, we want to let ourselves off the hook. Because I understand that things have happened that have rubbed you the wrong way. Things have happened that you just like, you my husband. Why in the world would you not be faithful? I mean, look at me. Like, what's your problem? <laughs> like, look at me. Like, I'm cute, okay? And even if I'm not, on a good day. <laughs> but you, we be like, I can't understand why my husband won't. And, and, and it breaks our head up. And we become so confused. And it takes over our day. And we can't even focus at work. And we can't even eat our food. And we can't even rest well. And the reason why you can't rest well because you are depressed. Depressed means you need some deep rest, baby. Depressed. You need deep rest. Get excited. Most clinicians know that. Which is why um, the medications, the psychotropic medications they give you help you to sleep. Because you're staying up all night. Because you're worrying about the wrong stuff. Your mind is supposed to be on the future. Your mind is supposed to be on the present. The power of now. What if we focused on today, right now? What joy do you have to celebrate now? Every moment you get depressed, every moment you think about something negative, every moment your mind goes to the past and like, dang, I'm ashamed that I did this. Dang, I feel guilty about this. Dang, I wish I would have had a better relationship with this person. Oh man, I can't believe this person stabbed me in the back. Oh man, I can't believe this person treated me this way. Every time your mind goes, they say, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Stop, interrupt it. Stop, interrupt it. That's the past. Right now, I'm thankful. I am thankful, I am grateful, I am in a loving space, and my mind is not occupied with the past because I understand that takes me down this deep, dark hallway of depression, and I'm not trying to go there. Been there, done that. When I'm able to deliver myself, when I'm able to um, allow God He's always been there, but do we allow him to do what he has to do? Listen, when you come out of that dark place, you better not go back. That moment you get that glimpse of light that say, yeah, yeah, I deserve goodness. I deserve greatness. And I'm going to get it while I'm living. 
I'm, I'm not going to be settled with disruptive relationships. I'm not going to be settled with dysfunction fam, dysfunctional family members. I'm not going to be settled with a, a just a horrible bank account. I'm not going to live this life always in want, always in need, always wishing, always desiring. No. I'm going to figure out how to tap into the power of me. The other day, I was really getting into it. And somebody was like, oh my God. No, listen, people, I am passionate. And if you can't handle the passion, I'm not for you. And I'm okay with that. I release myself to the outcome. Do you know how many times over the past 50-something years, I don't change myself to please somebody who's no longer in my life, who no longer honors me, who no longer respects me? So I don't do that anymore. I don't change myself for no one, no one, no one. Been there, done that. So I invite you to walk in your, your genuineness. See, I'm very passionate. And when I was talking passionately the other day, you know, maybe it rubbed some people the wrong way, but I want you to know, I said, mother yourself. I said, father yourself. Why are you so angry with your mama? If you've ever been a mama, huh, you better forgive your mama for everything. If you ever been a mama, it's not easy. Motherhood, I tell everybody, it's overrated. It's not easy being a mama because you will give everything and you don't gave your womb, you don't gave your belly, they even bust open your private. Like you gave everything, your money, your time, and you still don't, come on now. <laughs> so listen, let yourself off the hook. When I say mother yourself, I'm saying we have the strength inside of us to be everything we need to be. It's not outside of us. What does mother represent to you? Does it represent nurturing? Well, nurture yourself. You need someone to kiss your boo-boos? You kiss it. You need someone to rub your head? You rub it. You, you need somebody to love on you? You love on you. Why are we always expecting outside of ourselves what well, we won't even give to ourselves, but we have unrealistic expectations and we force everybody else to be our puppet. You better love me. You better treat me right. You need to buy me something. You need to call me. You need to see me. You need to bring me. No. We need to focus on us. The more I travel within, I'm a traveler, guys. I travel within, right? The more I travel within, mom, guess what I realize? I don't need nothing. Hey, sis, I don't need nothing. Nothing. The more I travel within, I don't need nothing. And, you, and you're like, well, my, 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 daddy, my daddy wasn't there. I need a really strong man, you know, to show me that he loves me. And, you know, I feel like, you know, my um, father yourself. I said, Dr. J, that's kind of rough. That's kind of confrontational. That's kind of rude. That's kind of aggressive. No, that's kind of true. It's kind of true. Everybody's mama ain't no nurturer. I'm just telling you right now. Everybody's father is not a provider and a protector. I'm telling you right now. Everybody's husband or wife is not a beautiful, loving, generous, loyal soulmate. I'm telling you right now. So all the things you are looking for in others, find it in yourself and stay out of the past. Because once you remember all those negative toxic relationships, you will dwell in that energy and you will attract the same. And once you also keep focusing on all the negative things that has happened to you, people don't understand. I hope I can impress upon you. You are a manifester. You are a creator. And the reason why we keep creating the same things because we keep doing the same things. Are you still thinking about the past? Are you still thinking about what you did not do? Do it today. Okay, you didn't do it. Okay. Write down what you want to accomplish. Write down the necessary steps to get there. And then start knocking off the list one by one get it done one by one get it done don't you think most of our time would be better beneficial and more progressive if we focused on put all of our energy into put all of our love all of our money all of our attention and everything that it takes to get what we want 
rather than thinking about what we wish we could have, should have had. I wish my ex-boyfriend went ahead and left me. Well, he's gone, okay? He's gone. And if you know like I know, thank God he left. Because <laughs> we, the good one, and left space for the good one. And if you focusing on, I used to have a big house, but during the pandemic, I had to downsize. Or if you focus on, oh man, I used to have a little house and now I got a big one and I can't maintain it. Oh, I used to, if you keep focusing on the past, you will stay there in that misery. If you keep doing the same things, you will keep getting the same results. Focus on what you want. Remember we talked about 95 North and 95 South. If what you need and what you want is in the great state of New York, where I come from, get excited, Manhattan, Spanish Harlem, get excited, give it up for the East Rivers, mama, woo, woo. If you know, like I know, if you know 106th Street where I was raised, if you know, like I know, you cannot, from Maryland, get to New York going on 95 South. So what I want to impress upon you today before we go is what road are you on? You're trying to get free from depression. You're trying to get free from your past. You're trying to be healed. You're trying to walk in love, joy, peace, and happiness. But you don't have no morning rituals. Oh, for real? Oh, okay. You're on, you're on 95 South because you're going to keep waking up every day and miserable. Oh you, oh, you don't have no, 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 no nighttime rituals? Oh, you're going to go to bed in misery. you really going to wake up in misery. Oh, you're on 95 South. You ain't never going to get there. Oh, you won't do the work. You're going to keep judging others. You're going to keep blaming your mom and your daddy and your husband. You're going to keep blaming and blaming and blaming and complaining. You're never going to take it. You're never going to take full responsibility for your part. You're never going to do that. You're just going to keep complaining. Okay, you're on 95 South. You ain't never going to get there. You got to turn around. If anybody agree with me, put some hearts, put a one. You, you, you got to turn around. You got to do the work. You got to realize that the investment of you is worth it. You ever heard of human capital? That's the greatest capital in the world, mom. Thanks. You ever heard of human capital? When, when, when we invest in people, can, can you invest in you? Can you say you're worth it? Can you say, I'm going to do the work. I'm going to see what Dr. J talking about. I wonder what's going to happen to me in 90 days if I actually take five minutes. I wonder what's going to happen to me in 90 days if I actually journal. I wonder what's going to happen to me in 90 days if I actually, you know, try eating better. Thank you so much. Thank you. If I start eating better or if I start um, exercising or if I start policing my thoughts and every time those negative thoughts come up, I'll be like, oh, no. Um, you, I'm a part of the love trial with healing one on one. We don't do that no more in 2022. No, we don't. We don't sit and dwell on negative thoughts. We did that in 2021. <laughs> we did that in 2020 during a pandemic when we were like, "What in the world is going on? I am stuck in the house." We don't do that in 2022. We don't. Mentally strong people take command of their thoughts. They. They dwell on the present. They say, how can I impact my now to help pursue a glorious future? Because see, the past is gone. Ain't no point in dwelling on it. I don't care how good it was. I don't care how bad it was. Ain't no point in dwelling on it because it's not here no more. Let's do right here and right now. And right here and right now, we declare at the Love Tribe that we're on our healing journey. And we know we got to unlearn and relearn, you know? We always get around people. They complaining. They talking about the past. They talking about who I used to be. I got to kind of keep reintroducing myself because they don't know, Pam, that I'm this great phenomenal woman. Like, they need to go read Maya Angelou's poem, Phenomenal Woman. She was talking about me. They don't know because they knew me from yesterday. They knew me <laughs> when I didn't know myself. But now that, you know, I reintroduced myself to myself and now I'm a traveler and I travel within, I'm powerful over here. We doing big things. And see, keep the main thing. The main thing you guys think big things is like traveling to Dubai, getting a big degree, 
You know what's greater than all those things? Even greater than a million dollars in your bank account that could be squabbled up if you don't know how to spend it? See, it's not about obtaining money or having money. It's about keeping money. It's not about making money. It's about having money, but most people don't know that. Okay. So once we become the great person that we need to be to attract all the great things in our life, all of those great things will come to our life. But do you understand? You have to do the work. You got to. But get excited. You're here healing one-on-one, so you know. So we got to tell everybody else, right? So guys, if you don't have five minutes, you don't have a life. We are wrapping up a week of strong, mentally strong people don't dwell on the past. So I want you to give yourself a challenge this weekend. And this weekend... Every time, and y'all got to promise me, pinky swear, y'all doing it, pinky swear. I want you to promise that every time a negative thought crosses your mind, every time the past comes to you, you stop it. It's called thought stopping. It's a therapeutic um, strategy. A thought comes, you stop it, and you replace it with another thought. So I want you right now to journal, write down the thought that you're going to replace your negative thought with. Your thought could be, oh, I'm line dancing with my family. That makes me feel great, right? Your thought could be, oh, I'm doing some African drumming. Your thought could be, oh, I'm dancing to reggae. Your thought could be, oh, I'm running in enterprises. Your thought could be, oh, my, my nonprofit organization is flourishing and I employ 100 people. Like whatever brings you joy. I'm volunteering for my church. I'm walking my dog. I'm watching a movie with my boo. I don't know what brings you joy, but this weekend practice thought stopping so whenever that negative thought comes whenever the past comes you already have your arsenal my thought is going to be me walking through the forest with no shoes on that's me i don't like shoes i like my feet to touch the ground i'm just walking through nature and i see myself touching the trees and have all the knowledge from all the ages coming through the bark going through my body going through my mind giving me all the expertise i need to set the people free I told y'all I'm Harriet Tubman. I was set more free, but they don't know they slaves, baby. We got so many mental slaves out there. I'm going to go out there and let them know feeling good is a strategy. You weren't born to suffer. So I'll touch the trees and I'll feel the ages just come through my body and give me the wisdom, the power, the knowledge, the intelligence, the gift, the faith, the power, the skills, the abilities to set the people free. And I bet you I won't be negative no more after that. Y'all better get excited. I bet you I won't be down in the dumps after I get that feeling over me. So guys, get your thought. Get your arsenal. Put your arsenal. Put it in there and say, I'm ready. I'm ready this weekend. I'm ready. I'm ready this weekend. I dare a negative thought to come through my mind. I dare you try to have me dwell in the past. I'm going to pull out my arsenal. I'm going like, to be like, ch -ch -ch boom. I'm in a forest with the trees, baby. We ain't focusing on negativity. Boom, boom. Boom. I got, I got my power, baby. You ain't taking over my mind. You ain't taking over my thoughts. And you ain't taking over my future. And I know you trying to feed my mind. Say, oh, you know your family ain't got... You know your... No, no, I ain't receiving that. I don't believe that. They don't have to speak to me. I don't care. I love them and they love me. That's all I receive. I don't receive nothing else. So all that stuff that's coming and got, pa boom, gotta go. Gotta go. Get excited. <laughs> if you don't have five minutes, you don't have a life. So let's go ahead and rock out this weekend, guys. I want you guys to take on this challenge for real. Take on this challenge for real. Let's rock out this weekend. No negativity. No dwelling in the past. Because we are mentally strong people being healed. Being healed every single day. May God continue to shine his face upon you. May God be gracious to you and grant you peace. We forgive ourselves for believing that we, we could have done better when we didn't know how. And we also, believe, um, we also forgive others for believing the same. The beautiful thing is that we are open and ready for things to start going our way. We are opening to receive a physical manifestation today that is a reflection of that. 
We are open and ready to receive that message. We are an open channel. We are an open instrument. We are ready to go to the next level. And we know we can't go to the next level with one foot in the past. We know we can't go to the next level looking backwards. We know we can't go to the next level with guilt and shame and complain and regret. We know that they are too heavy. They will not allow us the freedom to move. We've got to let it go. But what you want, wants you. It's already done. It's already done. You already have it. It's already yours. Y'all better rock out this weekend. Have an amazing, phenomenal weekend on purpose. I will see you guys Monday through Friday live at 5. Thank you, everybody. Love you, love you, love you. Have an amazing weekend on purpose. Look at mom. You ain't by yourself today. Everybody giving some love. Thank you so much. Have an amazing weekend on purpose.